Hi everyone, this is Dear Zone, a Russian media channel that uh, keeps you updated on Korean music. And he, today we are here with Nafla and Lupi. Yay! Good, everybody. Yeah, thank Hello. you guys for being here with us today. It's oh, really an honor. <laughs> yeah, recently you've been working a lot on your new album, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to ask you, how do you deal with all of the workload that you have now? Uh, it's like a job, you know? <laughs> just 9 to 5. Just like, like how people treat us job. That's how we treat music. I think that's how I treat music. I so mm -hmm. just like, I have spare of time, I have free time. To, to play like video games, eat and stuff like that. But when I do my music stuff, it's like it's like work. Like mm -hmm. sometimes I don't want to do it, you know. Like I don't feel like doing it, but I have to. I don't know. It's like it's not a hobby anymore. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just it's just like a habit. Mm -hmm. What do I do with you? Oh, <laughs> well, I think I'm living, living, living in my dreams. Mm -hmm. Like life, you yeah, being a rap star. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, kind of enjoying, enjoying. Mm. Yeah. But how do you like uh, spending your free time? Free That's time. Said, he said, like, yeah. Well, I do. Or? I do. Uh, game, PlayStation. Mm. We play soccer nowadays. Oh and, really? Uh, uh, make your aim, like, mm -hmm. like managers, and then we just. There's like a court, like five minute drive from oh, really? the thing. Yeah, that's so pretty close. We try to play at least once a week. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's our fourth week now. Oh, it's, yeah. it's raining today. We're, yeah. we're supposed to play today. It's raining, so I don't know. Well, you have to postpone it a yeah, little bit. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I see. Well, let's go back to your album. So it's going to be really, it's called Mufla, and it's going to be released on June 10, right? Mm -hmm. So um, after showing the money triple seven, I think your popularity in, in Korea just like skyrocketed literally. Uh, when did you like? When was that particular moment when you decided to uh, release an album together, a joint album? Oh, uh, it was way before oh, really? we attended the audition. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it, it was all planned out. Like we figured it out and said it will be best if we do someone do first place and someone does second. Yeah, and then release an album like right after. So people will have more attention to mm -hmm. like, since that's like when we have the most attention. We, we yeah. Yeah. Catch we should, it the moment. Yeah, 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 we should catch that moment. But yeah, things things didn't work out so we just like, keep getting postponed and mm -hmm. stuff. But it was way our it was like pretty strategic I think. Mm -hmm. like, we had it. Yeah, either way after show me the money, let's make a joint album. Like that was, yeah, that was our plan. Like, mm. No matter what, yeah, uh, place we're gonna be. Mm. So. And what about like show me the money? Like after uh, it ended, I think your life has changed a lot, right? Like, did you feel anything like, you know, the differences, like drastic differences in your daily life, maybe? You no, know, my bank account. Oh, more, <laughs> zero, more zeros on it. Yeah. Yes. Um, but not in the. Not in my daily basis. Uh, it's just studio home, studio home. Mm. Still studio home, studio working, home. Yeah. Working, working 24-7. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I see. What about you? Well, having, having, a, having an interview with mm. Russian channel. No. <laughs> yeah. It never happen. That's the one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, well, could you tell us a little bit more about your album? What's the concept? Oh, uh, we concentrate on since we're gonna have a lot of shows after mm -hmm. showing the money. Like you know, like Korea has a lot of like festivals That's and like true. like college stuff mm -hmm. they do. So let's do let's make an album that we could just like vibe to and just sing instead mm -hmm. of like lyrical and everything. Just like let's just concentrate on the vibe and having yeah. fun because mm -hmm. we have to sing this like. A lot, right? Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, that was our that was the most that was the concept that we had. So like, let's make a song that we could sing and have fun and mm -hmm. enjoy. Then like, like like kind of a sad song, like movie song, no, just like let's yeah. have fun. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was the most, that's the main point yeah, of this album. I really expect it. <laughs> well, uh, could you tell us a little bit more about the title songs? It's Atlantis and Shot, right? Like. What are the songs like? 
Atlantis is like a new, like a new thing we try. Mm. It's, like, it's more of like pop. Oh really? Wow. Hip hop, I think. Mm. In my, what in his opinion? <laughs> oh, Atlantis. Atlantis. Mm -hmm. You could, you could, um, you could check. You could check Nafla, Nafla's vocal, Nafla's singing mm -hmm. on the track. Yeah, so don't need. It's kind of like more, more pop. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. Okay. Yeah, more pop. So it's something new, right? We should expect something new. Uh, it's not that new, <laughs> yeah. but, but, <laughs> but a little bit. Uh, still I'm little singing, so <laughs> yeah. New, I guess. Yeah, please expect that for singing. <laughs> okay, um, so what's your favorite track on the album? Mm. Ooh, that's a hard one. <laughs> Each one is favorite, right? Yes, it, it has their own color. But... There is a track called Johnny Dang. Mm -hmm. Do you know who that is? So... Johnny Dang is a. Um, he's a He's the first first Asian jeweler in America. Mm -hmm. uh, hip hop jewel. Oh. So. Oh, like recently and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And, like bust downs. Mm -hmm. he just, he's like the first one who, and Ben Baller. I don't know who's the first oh, one. Yeah, but, oh yeah. He's yeah. like Ben Baller, yeah, okay. but like uh -huh. Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as an as an Asian, um, we. Oh, and then beat, mm -hmm. beat is more, uh, more like or sounds like Asian, Asian sounds. I don't know. So, mm -hmm. so like Asian vibe. Oh, Asian vibe, mm -hmm. right? So something new. Something new. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was something new too. Yeah, this high schooler actually sent us a beat and really? email. Just like, yo, check it out. And oh. I listened to it and I was like. Oh, that's pretty good. It's like something, something else I never heard of. Oh, that's right? so cool. And he's so, Korean? Yeah, he's Korean. Oh. It's like, I don't know where he lives somewhere. You know? oh. He's like literally in Korea. Wow. So we made two tracks with Johnny Dang and mm -hmm. So, And what about your favorite song? Like, you know, you have released a lot of really cool songs and like hits. And like, who is really popular, like one of your fans and like, and save and stuff. Like, what's your, what's the song that is particularly special to you? Like maybe meaningful. Mm. Gear two again. Gear two. Gear two. Mm, I have love and hate for the <laughs> track, but because it's really hard to hard to wrap wrap it out. It's really. Uh, it's getting old. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Really, uh, we'll play more soccer. Yeah. My lung getting old. So. Oh. But um, Gertsu for me, most 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 listeners mm -hmm. uh, found me with the track. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's my first hit hit track. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. In, in, in YouTube channel, mm -hmm. so yeah, Gertsu is special to me. Yeah. I but I hate, I, I hate the truth at the really? same time. Oh, yeah. This love and pain. Mm -hmm. okay. For me, uh, ooh, obviously, because that, 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 I think that has the most views I think, on YouTube yeah, as course. well, and mm -hmm. that's what brought me here, I think. So, mm, yeah, so, I mean, I sang too many times. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, I'm like a uh, robot when I sing that now. You, know, you can sing like, it at any time, yes. right? <laughs> so, yeah, it's not, but it's a special song to me. Mm -hmm. I think I gotta sing that for a long time, until I'm 80 or something, you know, it's still be for six. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of uh, hip hop artists have this dream to release a track that will like be a chart killer, you know, like kill all the charts and like top all the charts. And what about you? Do you prefer to release a track that is like do you have this ambition to release a track that will kill all the charts? Or do you prefer like would you rather release a track that is 
meaningful to you or like, I don't know, ex maybe expresses your personality, like individuality? What is better? Uh, well, we divide it into, uh, let's say, Atlantis. It's not a, it's not a song that is not meaningful, mm -hmm. but uh, it's a song that could go more diverse and more on the chart. Mm -hmm. That's why we put it as titles, you know, so yeah. more diverse of people can understand the theme of music mm -hmm. and yeah, the vibe to the yeah. vibe of it. You know? uh, I used to really want like that chart killing song being number one, mm -hmm. but now I think of it, it's like if you're on chart one, mm -hmm. your music, that music doesn't last a long time. Just you know, it's like for a month. Yeah. It's like a hype. You know, it's one moment. Yes, and, and after that hype. Uh, it's hard to beat that hype with the same artist, is, mm -hmm. is, you know, it's hard. Yeah. Everyone's just going to remember you as that, right? So I think it's better, nowadays, I'm thinking it's better to have a steady fan base and a song that just keep people who like you for mm -hmm. being you, just not like trying to trying to make everyone love you mm -hmm. and being number one yeah. that's not gonna last long so if I want since I want to do music for a long time mm -hmm. I just want to be in that steady pace that's, that's really nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, for me I um, I make the song first and I realize if if this song if, if this song gonna be on chart if I uh, if I after I realize that I kind of fix fix uh, fix the song more uh, I mean like fix the lyrics mm -hmm. so that uh, everyone could could listen to it mm -hmm. even even uh, students yeah and uh, I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not planning to do make song but after I make the song uh, I fixed it. Mm -hmm. Oh if, it, if you think it's a hit uh -huh. you fix lyrics uh -huh. to so uh -huh. it is a lot of there's a lot of lyrics that like are kind of banned and created right. Right, right, yeah. you can't say particular like brands right why? I don't know, really get that. Yeah. But we gotta fix those, but mm -hmm. that's why we edit like a radio version. Of our own time. It's true, like clean version. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I, I, I'll be like not happy if it's like a mm -hmm. number one song. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. money. But I won't be like trying to prosper just, mm -hmm. just on that number one. Like, just that's not my goal anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm a really big fan of yours and I've been to so many of you. your performances and like you. really um, I'm kind of controlling myself right now so I want to just tell you that um, every time that I live like I go to your performances I see that you have like a perfect chemistry like mm -hmm. there is this chemistry like between two of you that I think no one can like you know kind of repeat mm -hmm. and what do you think like what influenced this um, kind of your close relationship or something like because you look like like brothers like mm. I don't know, soulmates like you you know like water and fire mm. perfect combination I still remember like in hip hop player festival mm. um the yeah. song Apple Box um, like you rap it was like without music and then you were keep it, like you were keeping on going and it was like it was amazing mm. like everyone was like whoa 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 it was cool mm, thank you it's more <laughs> Those stuff are practices, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, we practice. We uh, since we got the like the habit, or like since we know what to do nowadays, mm -hmm. it's just like it's in it's just in us nowadays. But a long time ago, or if we have a new song, mm -hmm. we just keep practicing and like try to try to adjust with each other so we don't like. If we crash the mics together, oh. it might be too, you know, yeah, like, right. yeah, like your, it might, the vocal might fry, your ears might fry. So we gotta adjust that. So mm -hmm. when I sing this part, you just do the, like, the height mm -hmm. of it. And just new songs, we just keep, just keep practicing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah.
No, for the uh, rela relationship, I guess uh, definitely you uh, you know I mean you you shouldn't be so uh, you shouldn't be that close to each other. That's my uh, key. So we don't we don't spend time. Oh, uh, that much. Hmm. He doesn't come to the studio. No, really. <laughs> I know. He's at home. Because <laughs> if you if you if you do everything with somebody, you definitely have have a problem with them. I think. Mm -hmm. Like a like a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. Yeah. You can be stuck to each other all the time. Mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. That's the key. So that's why. Um, I mean, I don't see them. Uh, I don't see them usually. Mm -hmm. So I I meet them on the stage. So I'm really happy to see seeing see him him doing doing his thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Like being oh yeah. yeah. So that's why I could be happier mm -hmm. on the stage. I guess. That's an interesting. Really interesting clue. <laughs> okay. We're we're just busy doing our own thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still like after the show me the money, you had so many performances together. You had to like fly together all the time. Right. Still, yeah. We're still together. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. And what about fan meetings? Like, do you like because there are so many people who wants to like you know meet you and like have a chance maybe to give you some presents or like. Talk to you for a couple of minutes. Like, how do you view hand meeting as a as a phenomenon? Would you like to do one, organize one for your you fans? Have one already, right? Yeah, I have one fan meeting thing. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, it was like a free concert for oh. the one I on the show me the money. Mm -hmm. Oh I said yeah. If I win, yeah. I'm gonna do a free concert. So I just did that a few weeks ago. Really? Um, uh, like a fan meeting. I mean, I I would love to do it. It's just, it's not like, yo, I'm gonna do a fan meeting, come through. It's, it's not like that anymore. Right. It's just like, like we need to do this, we need to have sponsorship, we need to do that, we need to, like, everything just, it's not just like, it's not so simple nowadays. So, uh, first, we're trying to just do like a concert, you know, for everyone. So, like, we're trying to plan that first before fan meetings. Just, in case anyone wanna know, yeah, <laughs> show up for the album. Sure. Yeah. I see. Okay. Um. Then let's talk about a, a little bit more about hip hop culture, like as a whole. You know, like in Korea, it's a really like there is a hip hop boom. Kind of. Everyone is into hip hop. Everyone wants to listen to rappers. Everyone watches Show Me the Money. And like if you see the ratings of Show Me the Money, it's like increasing each year, right? Like, why do you think Korea is so successful with hip hop? Like, why hip hop has such an influence on Korean music? Mm -hmm. I guess I think uh, for a long time in Korea, they uh, Korean uh, had to listen to love song only. Because there, there, there's so many love songs in Korea, but rappers they uh, they sing about about their life or their thoughts. Mm -hmm. uh, could be could be uh, different. So that's why many young Koreans started to. I think Show Me The Money has a big influence on making hip-hop successful in Korea mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Well, some people know it's like like he said, he always says like 120% of people know Show Me The Money but mm -hmm. only 100% knows hip-hop so more people know showing the money than yeah. knowing hip hop. Mm -hmm. So it became a mainstream thing. Hip hop became a mainstream thing. Uh, 
thanks to Show Me the Money. Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of people started to do rap and have more interest in rap. Mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot of, what was it, uh, like, you know what I said about college having festivals and stuff? Yeah. They do a lot in Korea. Like, that's true. They have a lot of festivals in colleges. So mm -hmm. uh, people want to have, like, people want to drink and have fun and just like jump up and down. Mm -hmm. and I think that's just kind of like, kind of like, you know, because like, obviously like, there's a lot of songs that trying to have fun. But mm -hmm. like, I mean, I love ballads, and, like, slow songs, but. Those had those times, you know, like those days. Yeah, the atmosphere. Yeah, it's just like people want to have, want to jump too, you know. So both things, uh, just, mm -hmm. things are just uh, those a lot of college festivals and show me the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, in Russia, hip hop is really popular too these days. Oh, I heard. Yeah, really? I really? I heard from hip hop, hear? like, there's like, just like hip hop songs that are like, like two million views. Mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, like, that's true. Yeah, it's just very. I mean, I heard one of the songs a long time ago. So yeah. it was like a street, like a very, very street boom bap kind mm -hmm. of thing. Everyone had like their shitty pads, uh -huh. and it was on a back court, a back like a basketball court. Mm -hmm. It's like rompa. I don't know how to say it, but it was like. Mm -hmm. This O M P. Let me find out. Let me find out. Because I just wrote. My friend wrote Russian hip hop, oh, and he yeah. sent me a link to yeah. it. I was like, whoa, they're cool. It's like, yeah. Everyone looked very cold hearted though. Like, mm. like, I'm gonna kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so interesting. I never like expected you to like, you know, have heard about Russian hip hop. She actually was more into it. Mm -hmm. so I heard it's popular. Okay. Would you love to visit Russia? It's like one of our last questions. Mm, have you ever been? Is there been is, what, it? What's the main food in Russia? Like, oh, um, I think for food you have a lot of meat. We have a lot of meat. She knows something <laughs> she wants to say. <laughs> Yeah, we have this borscht. kind of soup. Yeah, which is called borscht. Yeah, uh, it's like with uh, radish, I think, and like no, wait, beetroot, beetroot. Beetroot. Yeah, it's with beetroot, and then with like sauntar, with a potato, meat. Oh, it's like a stew. Uh, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like a little bit like stew, right? Yeah. Our soups are a little bit like like stew. Oh. So if I go to Russia, that would be the thing you'll serve. That'll be the first one. Yeah, food. and then shashlik. We also have shashlik, <laughs> which is <laughs> shashlik, which is meat. Uh -huh. I think you would love it because it's like mm. kind of yeah, it's like BBQ, like barbecue, oh. but then it's on this like what do you call it, like takochi, like a little mm. bit like takochi, oh, okay. but it's made of like whether beef or pork. Mm. Yeah. Because I like traveling and because of food, mm. that's my main mm. purpose on travel. Mm. It's like women tour. Yeah, having. <laughs> Just experience, because I love food, so mm -hmm. I just love to experience food, and yeah, um, yeah. I, like, I just hear a lot of stuff like, like, the legal age of vodka is like 15 yeah. or something, because <laughs> it's too cold, and it's like, oh, oh how God. cold is that? <laughs> I just fear of being cold. Oh, but I see. if there's good food, I would mm -hmm. love to. <laughs> Even if it's cold, I'm gonna go for food. <laughs> yeah, but actually, it's not really cold. Like we have really? these regions when it's like really cold in the summer, but then uh, mostly like Moscow or even my hometown, it's like in the middle. Um, it's really like in the summer, it's like plus thirty. Mm -hmm. so, so, yeah, so it's really fine. <laughs> I think you should go. What about you, Lupin? Do you want to go? Definitely. <laughs> uh, I know there are, there are a lot of uh, beautiful ladies in Russia. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not food. Not food. Not food. Not food. Not food. Not food. to go to the restaurants for food in the Lupi. Like, yeah. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like water and fire, literally. <laughs> You're so different. And then just say something to your Russian friends. Oh. There are so many people who really love you and they were like, you know, when um, there was the final of Show Me The Money, um, of course Russian people couldn't see the neighbors streaming and then they found out like various like other channels mm -hmm. to like watch it and then they were commenting like, 
That's you know, crazy. online. Yeah. It was really hard to find a channel for, for that, you know, because it's like pretty much blocked all the time. And, <laughs> and everyone was like, yeah, you know, it was great. Yeah. Just tell something to your fans. Uh, what's up, everybody? Thank you for illegally watching us. <laughs> winning the show me funny. And, um, yeah, I would love to go there once. If, yeah, I, I really want to do a show there if that's possible. Yeah. So I'll, I'll look forward to our album that's coming on June 10th. June, June 10th it is. Uh, yes, uh, I hope you guys like it. And, uh, keep supporting us. So we can do more shows there. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And love it's you. crazy. We, we I know. love in Russia. That's I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, definitely, uh, maybe next time. Uh, for, for this time, you guys you guys come to meet us. The next time, we definitely go to Russia. And meet you guys. Thank you. Love you. So much fun. Thank you. Bon shiba. Thanks a lot, Anna. Spasiba. Spasiba. Yeah. Spasiba. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. It was it was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It was really happy.